हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम टू शेक हैंड विद लाइफ यूट्यूब चैनल हियर ऑन दिस चैनल यू कैन वॉच वैरायटी ऑफ वीडियोस एंड बिल्ड अप योर इंजीनियरिंग एंड मैनेजमेंट स्किल्स इफ यू आर न्यू ऑन दिस चैनल देन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन सो वेन एवर देर इज अ न्यू वीडियो अपलोडेड ऑन दिस चैनल यू मे गेट द नोटिफिकेशन रिगार्डिंग द न्यू वीडियो अपलोड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो I will discuss about the ISO 9001-2015 QMS requirements and clause six, which is about the planning. But in this particular video, I will discuss about the the sub clause 6.1, which is about the actions to address risks and opportunities. Basically, the clause six is about the planning of actions to address risk and opportunities <clears throat> so the planning the clause 6 is about the planning of actions to address risk and opportunities which is described by the clause sub clause number 6.1 and quality objectives and planning to achieve them which is which is described by the clause number 6.2 and planning of changes which describes by the clause number 6.3 so in this video i will discuss about the the sub clause 6.1 which is uh, which describes the actions to address risk and opportunities the the clause the sub clause 6.1 actions to address risks and opportunities it has two sub clauses the 6.1.1 it is about the planning for effective quality management system the organization determine the risks and opportunities need to be addressed with respect to context of the organization internal and external issues we have studied this in clause number 4.1 and needs and expectations of interested parties which we have studied in clause number 4.2 the organization give assurance to the interested parties that the quality management system can achieve can able to achieve its intended results b it can able to enhance the desirable effects c it can able to prevent or reduce undesired effects and d it can able to achieve improvements and the clause number 6.1.2 it is about the planning of the actions to address these risks and opportunities therefore the organization shall plan a actions to address these risks and opportunities and b how to integrate and implement these actions into its quality management system processes and the second one is evaluation and the effectiveness evaluation of the effectiveness of these actions to make the quality management system effective so these two clauses are included in the clause 6.1 about actions to address risks and opportunities now how to determine the actions taken to address the risks first understand the purpose of risk management control two determine the categories of risks such as the risk may be strategic the risk may be the operational environmental legal social or it may be the category of financial and you need to identify the risk in a particular mode and then fourth determine the risk management methodology with respect to the size and the complexity of the organization now starting with the purpose of risk management the purpose of risk management 
avoid risk taking risk altering risk transferring risk retain risk and removing the source of risks the purpose of risk management when we are talking about avoiding risk it is where the only option is not go forward when you have no option to go forward with an activity or to withdraw from it you need to avoid the risk taking risk when you are in the condition to take the risk then you must have the desirable potential consequences altering risk this is the case to optimize potential opportunities and minimize threats trans transferring risk by taking insurance contractual arrangements trade unions and partnership and joint ventures so suppose a person is doing a business he has to take 100% risk of failure of that business but if it is a partnership then the failure of risk can be bear by the two persons 50% each failure of the business and retaining risk when you retain the risk this is the case where no worthwhile control actions are feasible no control actions are feasible and you have to retain the risk then in that case you have to study that what is the capacity or the tolerance of taking risk by the organization removing the source of risk by perhaps using some alternate or new technology you can remove the risk remove the source of risk by alternate or new technology risk identification first look at the past history of performance and lessons learned current operations and planned future activities to identify potential risk or undesirable outcomes then look at current activities and problems encountered check out the current activities in the processes and what kind of problems you are facing while manufacturing a product or delivery a uh, delivering a service or implementing a quality management system then current and planned future with respect to the also you need to uh, study the current and planned future activities because the past activities current activities and the future activities are interrelated with each other apply tgw things going wrong for past activities and a contingency or what if approach to identify current and future risk apply these approaches to full spectrum of risk categories the risk category may be the risk may be categorized as a operational it may be a financial it may be a strategic risk so you need to apply the approach the things going wrong approach to each category of risk <clears throat> use various tools such as cross functional teams flow chart check sheet risk analysis diagram to brainstorm and facilitate risk identification analysis and evaluation you can use variety of tools to to uh, analyze identify risk and analyze and evaluate evaluate the impact of the risk ask when why who and how type questions to identify past current and future risk now come to the risk management the risk management has the following steps and this includes first identify each potential risk then identify the potential cause of the risk outcome then rate the severity of the outcome 
then read the chances of occurrence of the causes of the cause of the outcome then read the detection ability using current control what is the ability of the current control to detect the risk establish risk tolerance criteria how much tolerance the organization has to uh, uh, to tolerate the risk calculate the risk priority number similarly like uh, the failure mode effect analysis using here you can say that you can prioritize the risk on the basis of severity occurrence and detection control then on these on the basis of the risk priority number or the severity occurrence and detection control categorize the risk into critical high medium or low on the basis of rpn value that means risk prioritize risk priority number then identify and determine the adequacy of any existing control to address the identified risk your current control you need to uh, identify and determine whether your existing control can able to address the identified risk then determine the appropriate controls to respond to each identified risk process control plan and uh, these control preferably prevent the potential cause to occur the first requirement is that the controls the current controls or these whatever kind of controls you are implied in your process applied in your process they must preferably prevent the potential cause to occur and if they are not able to prevent then at least be able to <coughs> detect the cause or outcome of the risk preferably they prevent the potential cause to occur and secondly at least they able to detect the cause or outcome of the risk then in the last use risk management information for strategic decision making and managing operations on the basis of risk management information decide your strategy and accordingly manage your operations of manufacturing or service delivery or quality management system implementation or effectively maintain or improve the quality management system here is an example of determining the risk and opportunities because when we are talking about the risk and opportunities actions to take the risk and opportunities with respect to the context of the organization uh, which we have studied in clause number 4.1 it is about the internal and external issues so here is the example of internal issue the workforce retention ways and the expected results the workforce are loyal to the organization because the wages are good the workforce are loyal to the organization but here is a kind of uncertainty the workforce leaving for better paid work definitely the workforce may leave for a better paid work the category of risk is high and here the opportunity created the opportunity to benchmark our competitor space where the people are going to take the better salary you need to benchmark the wages or the salary with respect to your competitors now take the another example uh, for external issues here is a client consideration bringing expertise in house the client wants to bring the expertise in their own organization and uh, the expected results the workforce remain loyal to the organization it is also the workforce remain because they are learning new expertise but the uncertainty is that the organization which is provide the on site services to the client the client can hire the employee who are pro providing the on site services they can be hired by the clients so here is the uncertainty 
workforce managed on site contracts being employed direct by the clients. So, the risk for the service provider is very high, and here is the opportunity the opportunity for new contract clause prohibiting employment time bound. That means at least this period of time the employee has to pay the services to the organization. So here is the quick recap. The clause number 6.1 is about actions to address risks and opportunities and the clause sub clause number 6.1.1 the organization determine the risks and opportunities need to be addressed with respect to context of the organization and needs and expectations of interested parties. Then 6.1.2 is about the plan, plan the actions to address these risks and opportunities. Then actions taken to address risks and opportunities you need to follow these uh, steps. First understand the purpose of risk management control. Then second determine the categories of risk such as the strategic, operational, environmental, legal, social and financial. Then identify the risk and the fourth and last one is a determine the risk management methodology with respect to the size and complexity of the organization. So this is all about the clause 6.1 actions to address risk and opportunities. If you have any question or suggestion then do write your feedback in comment box and spread this video among your friends and colleagues. Share this video as much as possible among your friends and colleagues and don't forget to subscribe shake hand with life youtube channel and press the bell icon so whenever there is a new video uploaded on this channel you may get the notifications about the new video upload thanks for watching have a nice day see you in my next video thank you